Hey guys, it's been over two years since that tragic incident on the movie set of Rust when Alec Baldwin shot and ended up killing the cinematographer Helena Hutchins as well as injuring the director Joel Souza. Alec Baldwin must have thought he was free of any trouble when they decided not to pursue any charges but that changed just a little over a month ago when they decided to refile manslaughter charges against him. Alec Baldwin could face up to 18 months in prison for this new charge related to the Rust shooting and we have an important update on the case because armorer Hannah Gitz who seemed to have very little experience and probably shouldn't have been hired for the project has just been found guilty of manslaughter as well. Before we go on remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video to stay updated. Your likes and subscriptions contribute to the project's growth and as it grows I'll bring you more interesting videos. Okay, thanks for the support. Continuing, we talked about it a lot in the months following the incident as information came out, especially about the lack of safety concerns on set and in fact as the armorer she should have been leading these safety measures. The decision seems correct but that doesn't mean Alec Baldwin is entirely out of the woods. Some elements that came to light during the trial could mean Alec Baldwin could face serious difficulties in his own wrongful death trial. Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the armorer on the film Rust, was convicted of involuntary manslaughter in the death of the film's cinematographer. Jurors reached their verdict after less than three hours of deliberations, following two weeks of testimony about safety breaches on set. Reed was acquitted of an additional charge of tampering with evidence. She faces up to 18 months in prison with sentencing expected sometime in April. One of the points that surfaced and probably spread about a week ago was some behind the scenes footage on the set of Rust. They showed how things weren't being done properly, especially several actions by Baldwin himself. A video from the set of Rust raised questions about Alec Baldwin's conduct. According to a report by ABC News, it shows him emerging from a log cabin and firing shots from a revolver asking for more ammunition. In the actor's words in the video, one more, one more, I forgot about the recoil, let's reload quick, quick. Baldwin seemed to rush the crew to prepare for the next scene. Gutierrez, the armorer, was quickly approaching, grabbing dummy ammunition from her fanny pack. A weapons expert, a witness for the prosecution and a veteran on the subject commented on the footage saying that Baldwin's behavior is not typical of an actor on a film set. Why not? Well, he was essentially giving orders to the armor on how to do her job. This is the moment where you need to stop and say, I'm not going to rush, I'm going to slow down. The armorer inappropriately chosen due to her inexperience and being the daughter of a renowned professional in the field bore some of the responsibility for the incident with the live bullet. Alec Baldwin, who was pressuring the team and neglected training, is not without blame either, especially for having fired the weapon, whether intentional or not. The shooting was the central action leading to the accident. His behavior increases his legal liability, making his situation more complicated prior to the trial in New Mexico. However, the armorer has already been convicted of involuntary manslaughter. The lawsuit against Baldwin is still pending. What do you guys think about this? Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments. I'd love to discuss the video's topics. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Suggestions for the next videos are appearing up here now. It makes perfect sense for you to watch them. See you in the next video. See you soon.